Did you know the deepest black paint ever developed can absorb up to 99.9% .9 of visible light, creating an illusion of a void that makes three-dimensional objects appear flat? This fascinating innovation highlights the paint industry's capacity for breakthroughs, an industry that annually produces enough paint to generously cover every car, house, and appliance multiple times over. The versatility and utility of paint make it an essential component in both aesthetics and protection across the globe. The origin of paint as a form of human expression and utility goes back over 40,000 years, marking the prehistoric society's first uses of natural pigments to immortalize their narratives on cave walls. These early painters sourced materials like ochres and charcoals from their immediate environments. From these simple beginnings, paint compositions evolved to incorporate various materials, including minerals, soil, animal fats, and blood, serving not just artistic pursuits, but also practical applications in adhering these pigments to diverse surfaces. So how is it made? The foundational elements of paint, pigments, binders, solvents, and additives each play a distinct role in the final product's appearance and performance. Pigments are responsible for the paint's color, with specific substances used to achieve particular shades. Titanium dioxide for a crisp white, iron oxide for a rich red, carbon black for a deep, absorbing black, ochre for earthy yellows, and lapis lazuli for vibrant blues. These materials do more than just impart color. They also enhance the paint's opacity and contribute to its protective qualities against UV damage. Binders serve as the adhesive force within the paint, binding the pigment particles together and ensuring adhesion to the painted surface. Water-based paints often utilize acrylic polymers as binders due to their flexibility and environmental benefits, while oil-based paints may use natural oils like linseed, which provides a durable and attractive finish. Solvents, ranging from water in latex paints to organic solvents in oil-based variants, are essential for adjusting the paint's viscosity, ensuring it can be applied smoothly and evenly. The process of sourcing these raw materials strikes a balance between natural and synthetic origins to meet both performance and environmental standards. Titanium dioxide, for instance, is typically mined with considerations for environmental impact, while the synthesis of acrylic polymers is designed to minimize waste and emissions. This thoughtful approach to material selection underpins the paint industry's commitment to delivering high-quality products that are both effective and conscientiously produced. The production of paint begins with a careful mixing process, expertly managed to blend the base ingredients into a cohesive and uniform mixture. Initially, solvents and binders are introduced into large industrial mixers, creating the liquid medium into which the pigments will be dispersed. This initial step ensures that the binder and solvent create a smooth, homogeneous base, essential for suspending the pigment particles evenly throughout the mixture. Following this, pigments are gradually added to the mix with constant stirring to prevent clumping and to ensure every particle of pigment is thoroughly wetted by the binder-solvent blend. As the pigments blend with the binder and solvent, additives are introduced into the mixture. These additives, which can range from drying accelerators to texturizers, are added last to tailor the paint's properties to specific requirements. The timing and sequence of adding these components are critical. Adding them too early or too late can affect the paint's consistency, drying time, and overall quality. The entire mixing process is closely monitored to achieve a balance that ensures the paint will have the desired finish, color accuracy, and durability. For paints that demand exceptional smoothness and color intensity, such as high-quality interior paints or specialized coatings, the mixture may undergo an additional step of fine mixing. This extra step ensures that the pigment particles are not just mixed, but are fully integrated into the binder, eliminating any microclumps and achieving a consistency that basic mixing alone might not accomplish. This step-by-step -step approach in the initial stages of paint production sets the foundation for the subsequent milling process, where the paint's texture and color are refined further to meet precise standards. After the primary ingredients of paint are combined and the initial mixture is homogenized, the process enters an essential phase, the incorporation of additives. These substances are key to giving the paint its unique properties and performance characteristics. Additives, such as fungicides, are introduced to enhance the durability of exterior paints, protecting them against mold and mildew, while texturizing agents can be added to create specialty finishes, such as a matte look or a sandy texture for decorative effects. Other additives might include UV stabilizers to prevent fading in sunlight, or flow enhancers to improve the paint's application properties. The mixing stage for these additives is careful, requiring precision and care to ensure each additive is evenly distributed throughout the batch. This uniform distribution is essential. Without it, 
the paint could exhibit inconsistencies in texture, color, or protective qualities. To achieve this, the paint undergoes further mixing, often with specialized equipment designed to integrate these additives thoroughly without breaking down their chemical structure or compromising the paint's overall composition. This stage of the process is not merely about blending, but about enhancing the paint's functionality and aesthetic appeal. The thoroughness of the mixing ensures that every can of paint, whether it's destined for a grand exterior wall or a fine piece of art, delivers consistent quality and performance. Quality control and testing are essential stages in paint production, ensuring that each batch adheres to high standards of color accuracy, consistency, viscosity, and drying time. Sophisticated equipment plays a crucial role in this phase, with spectrophotometers carefully measuring color to guarantee that each batch matches the desired hue precisely. Viscosity meters assess the paint's flow properties, ensuring it meets the specific requirements for smooth application and optimal coverage. Additionally, drying time is carefully evaluated to confirm that the paint hardens correctly within the expected time frame, facilitating efficient use and preventing defects. Beyond these fundamental tests, specialized assessments are conducted based on the paint's intended application. Interior paints, for example, are subjected to scrub resistance tests, which simulate repeated cleaning actions to evaluate how well the paint withstands wear and tear over time without fading or peeling. This test is essential for determining the durability of paint in high traffic areas where frequent cleaning is necessary. Exterior paints undergo rigorous weathering tests exposing samples to extreme conditions such as UV light, moisture, heat, and cold to mimic years of environmental exposure. These tests assess the paint's ability to maintain its color and integrity, providing insights into its long-term durability and protective capabilities against the elements. These exhaustive quality control measures ensure that every product leaving the production line not only meets the aesthetic expectations set by consumers, but also stands up to the practical demands of daily life and varying environmental conditions. The culmination of the paint production process is its packaging, a stage where the freshly made paint is prepared for its distribution to the market. Paint is filled into containers ranging from small, consumer-friendly cans that homeowners might use for a weekend project to large, professional-grade drums intended for industrial applications. The choice of container not only reflects the quantity of paint, but also considers ease of use, with features like easy pour spouts and resealable lids. Automated filling lines ensure each container is filled precisely, avoiding waste and ensuring consistency across products. The packaging material itself is chosen for durability and sustainability, with many brands opting for recyclable materials to minimize environmental impact. Branding and labeling are integral to this final phase, serving as the primary interface between the product and the consumer. Paint cans are adorned with vibrant labels that not only catch the eye, but also convey essential information about the paint within. This includes the paint type, for example, water-based, oil-based, recommended usage instructions, safety warnings, and the paint's environmental credentials. For instance, labels may highlight low volatile organic compound, VOC levels, or the use of sustainable ingredients, factors increasingly important to environmentally conscious consumers. The brand's logo and color scheme are strategically designed to communicate the brand's identity and values, aiming to establish a connection with the consumer and differentiate the product in a competitive market. The paint industry stands at the intersection of scientific innovation and environmental sustainability, with recent advancements promising to significantly alter both aesthetic landscapes and energy consumption patterns. Among these, the development of the blackest paint, capable of absorbing up to 99.9% .9 of visible light, has opened up new avenues for applications. This super black paint, leveraging vertically aligned carbon nanotube structures to trap light and minimize reflection, is not only a marvel for artists, creating visuals with depth and intensity previously unattainable, but also serves essential functions in aerospace applications. It reduces glare and light interference, enhancing the performance of optical equipment used in satellites and telescopes for clearer, more precise celestial observations. On the other end of the spectrum, the whitest paint ever created, reflecting up to 98.1% of sunlight with its unique formulation of barium sulfate particles, is transforming urban planning and architecture. Applied to buildings and rooftops, this super white paint significantly lowers indoor temperatures, reducing the reliance on air conditioning and mitigating urban heat islands. These pioneering paints exemplify the industry's strides in material science, broadening the scope of paint from mere decoration to instrumental roles in energy efficiency and scientific research. The careful production process of these innovative paints ensures the preservation of their unique properties, from the structural integrity of carbon nanotubes in the blackest paint 
to the optimized distribution of barium sulfate particles in the whitest paint. This careful formulation and processing herald a new era where paint does more than just beautify. It offers tangible benefits in reducing energy consumption and enhancing technological and scientific tools, blending aesthetic appeal with environmental sustainability and functional excellence.